Hello YouTube, welcome to Bowtide Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM where you go over songs that came out this week in EDM. How self-explanatory is that? Uh, we got 23 tracks that I wanted to take a look at, as I almost coughed there, and uh, we're going to start with the trash category, songs that aren't good in any capacity. Uh, we got Here We Go Again by Oliver Tree and David Guetta. Um, horrendous. Uh, first of all, why pitch up Oliver's vocals? Uh, the beat is bland as hell. The mixing is awful. This is genuinely the worst song of the year I've heard so far. And we're going to move into the bad category. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, moving into the bad category, we've got um, Haya Do Su uh, by Dioro and etc. etc. This feels like a Jack U ripoff with the jungle trap sound. Uh, the second drop is more so annoying than the first. Um, honestly, I would just go listen to Jack U over any of this. We've got Tomorrow Never Comes by Vice Stone. Uh, more bland Vice Stone here. The beat feels lifeless and it's like it's trying to catch up the whole track. The beat just has this like lingering sense that isn't, it doesn't feel like it's it's leading the track. It feels like it's being led and it doesn't work. Uh, and then we've got Insanity by Elenium featuring American Teeth. Um, this would, didn't, why is this even Elenium? This doesn't even sound like Elenium to me. I, you could have said, put any other producer on this and I would have said, sure, that makes sense. Um, the production is boring. Uh, it's kind of got that alt rock beat to it and it's got that odd hi-hat in it to kind of keep it electronic of some sorts. Um, I, yeah, I really have low hopes for this new Elenium album. I'm sorry. Uh, then we've got Pitch Thing by Tony Romera. Old school IDM or house track here uh, with very little going on, which is kind of what IDM sort of was, but it's different now. Uh, yeah, unintelligible, unintelligible vocal chops, and I just um, I didn't need this track. Don't really care about this one at all. Uh, then we've got Landslide by Sabai and Run. Uh, maybe I'm just a doomer about Sabai, but uh, it's just the same structure, the same vocal palette, same everything, and I'm just not interested in any of it at this point. Uh, yeah, Run's vocals are great. Honestly, I love what she does, but uh, the production just does not hold up to any degree, personally. Uh, then we've got Sugar uh, by Sarah DeWarren and Weird Genius. Uh, first of all, I'd like to read a lyric from the song uh, that was that was quite uh, interesting to, for me to hear. Uh, Wanna suck on me and see if it's the only thing that comes? Yeah, a spicy line, I gotta say. And I honestly don't hate the lyrical content here. Um, I just don't love the vocal performance, I'd say. And it's just paired with kind of a drag of a beat that overpowers the vocals and it's mixed poorly, I would say as well. It just is an awkward song. It doesn't feel like it fits in any way, in any capacity, anywhere. So that's uh, that's that. Uh, yeah, a bit of a doomer today with a lot of bad and trash songs, but uh, we're moving into meh now. Songs I thought were just meh. Uh, we've got Hungry Heart by Steve Aoki and Galantis featuring Haley Kyoko. Uh, for a commercial slap house track, this is honestly kind of a pop. Uh, not the most overly complex or interesting thing, but definitely not egregiously bad either. So. Uh, then we've got Mike or Desert Island Duvet by Fred Again, The Streets, and Dermont Kennedy. Uh, kind of chill house track that's very common for Fred Again nowadays in his style of production uh, with a sort of soft spoken word from Mike Skinner. It's not quite rap. It's also not quite spoken word. It's like a somewhere in between, I would say. But um, yeah, that is, uh, that's Mike. Uh, and then we've got uh, El Magerno. Marengo? I Yeah, I'm going to butcher that so horribly. It's Hispanic. I, I can't speak Spanish. Um, we got Marshmallow and Manuel Turizo here. And uh, this is Marshmallow on a reggaeton beat. And it's somehow not bad. Um, it's not my style. Uh, and yeah, the beat is pretty simplistic, but that kind of is what reggaeton is. Um, but, you know, I could, I could groove to this and I, I don't mind this one a ton. Uh, then we got Mazel Tov uh, by Habstract and Mala. You got a tingy synth here hit all throughout and a very, very firm melody line. Uh, but in the end, it wasn't all that interesting or intriguing to me and something I don't think I would go back and revisit a whole ton. And then we got Rave Some More by Fowler and Jello. Uh, keeping with the kind of quasi meme tracks from these two uh, so far, it's a, another big room track uh, with kind of a techno synth. Um, and not, another one this week I just didn't really care about a whole ton. Just a lot of, I don't know if it's what I was listening to this week, but I just felt like all these were, eh, yeah, it just felt like that. For the, I don't know if it felt like a, wee, a weak week to me. 
Yeah, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> uh, then we got Too Long by Nerco featuring Cruel Youth and staying with the theme. Uh, this is just not something I really would return to. Um, that being said, in the modern mellow dub, uh, this is kind of not, this is better than most, I would say. Uh, I've, if you've been around the channel for some time, you would know I really do not like melodic dubstep right now. I think it's boring and derivative, um, but this one, not too bad, I would say, compared to, to, compared to some others, so. Um, we got 10 songs left and all in the good category. No stand standouts this week, but uh, in the good category. We've got The Power by Reaper and Rebel Scum. Uh, this is your classic hard-hitting dance floor D&B from Reaper. Uh, it is just, it's classic Reaper through and through. This is pretty much, uh, there's no other sound like it. It's, it's him. Uh, not too different from the rest of his catalog, uh, but definitely a solid addition. And then we got Stars by Ovi Sky, a simple, short, and fun track here with a kind of glassy synth that Ovi Sky has become sort of uh, known for, his sound that I would say, like the, it's like a, a muted glass synth uh, is a kind of similar sound, but yeah, it's a sweet, li sweet little track. And then we got Star Song by Medicine, uh, a beautiful piano ballad mixed with some lo-fi kind of trip hop sounds. Um, it's an odd return for Medicine on the main streaming platforms. Um, I know he's been kind of off in these other areas as of late, not really on the Spotify, Apple Music kind of stuff, but um, solid track, uh, just not like, not what I expected from him as a comeback. And then we got Left to Right, the Space Laces remix, originally by Odd Mob. Uh, solid production and sound design, as always, from Space Laces, but other than that, it really didn't do a whole lot. I felt like the remix wasn't, it really didn't remix a lot. It just felt like a kind of Space Laces tonality slapped on top of an Odd Mob track. So, I don't know. It, it was good, but it I wanted more. I wanted something different. Uh, then we got Kindred by Akali. This is a very modern feeling trap sound with tight sound design and snappy synths. Uh, one of the better trap songs I think I've heard uh, in a bit and definitely maybe even this year. So that's Kindred. Uh, moving into Valhalla by Fool and Have. Uh, purely instrumental D&B here with a dark tonality to it and those kind of deeper synthwave hits that Fool is kind of known for here and there, kind of adding the kind of uh, almost uh, aesthetic, like the Blade Runner aesthetic, I think is the best way to put it. The 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 Ryan Gosling, or no, yeah, the Ryan Gosling aesthetic, the, I, I don't know, whatever the memes are, but um, yeah, it's it's a lot like that. Uh, then we got Flaws by Drinks On Me and Hans Gladder, a very underground sound in both vocal and production aspects uh, with a very moody, aesthetic nighttime jam. Uh, nice little house track here from uh, Drinks On Me with Flaws. And then we got uh, Jaya by Memba featuring, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother saying that. Uh, it's, uh, I believe, a, a Hindi name. So uh, it's a, ra and a more Arabic trap sound design here with what I believe to be a Hindi singer. Um, absolutely adore the vocal chops on the drops. And it keeps a through line throughout the track where they have those vocals going all throughout, obviously, in the core, in the like verse sections. But then in the drop, it, she keeps the vocal going. But then um, Memba keeps the pattern going with like the very end. It, it doesn't like break. It, it keeps a nice through line all throughout the track and i uh, really enjoyed that and our penultimate track of the week is beyond the peak by chime skybreak and danakam i want to say a very playful dubstep slash color based track here uh, first single from an upcoming album from chime which i am excited about um, mixing felt a little flat in the second drop or the second half of the song i would say but uh, overall uh, very solid and our top song of the week is Higher Ground by Coven featuring Kairos Grove. Um, this might be my favorite track from the two Higher Ground EPs up to this point. I love the builds. Uh, Kairos Grove's feature is fairly subtle yet strong. And Katie's vocals are always great as always. I compliment her all the time on what she does. Um, production was just, yeah, really nice, really smooth. And this was the DNB Coven that I, I really, really enjoy. I don't know. It's labeled feature bass on Monster Cat, but this just, this is, it just, it's drum and bass. I don't really know. Yeah. But um, it, it's the sound that I really have come to know and love from Coven, and uh, this is this is right up my alley. So, uh, yeah. But that has been it for this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of any and all songs in the comment section below. Other than that, I've been Botan Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.